the macro command. The added macro command on Torbox registers a series of commands via a single click. Click to enter the custom panel and choose Macro. Here in every preset, you could create a macro list. In the macro list, under every profile, you could create multiple groups. Each group could have one or multiple actions. Let's try it out and see how we use macro to search in Google. For instance, here we create a macro and assign it to the tall button. In this macro, we have two groups. In each group, we have created three actions. When pressing the tall button once, it will register the actions in the first group from top to down. Then when we click the tall button a second time, it will register the actions in the second group from top to down as well. Whenever you import or export a preset, it comes with the macro command created before. Configurable commands include keyboard shortcuts, delay, mouse action, text input, file and folder opening, and link URL directing. The shortcut allows single or combo input. Command repetition is also available. Delay refers to time interval between the previous and next action. Choose below the time options or simply input digits here. The mouse action allows you to choose wherever you want the command to be registered by setting up the coordinate. The text command registers any text you configure. You could also configure a button to open any file, folder, or website. Here you can add, delete, and edit the groups with ease. To change the sequence, simply click and drag. Here on the top right, we can see the loop mode is on. Once there is more than one group, the loop mode would be turned on. In this mode, the actions would run sequentially from the top to the down group, one group per click. When the loop mode is off, it would run the group actions from top to down for the first time, one group per click, and after that, register the last group all the time. To change the sequence of the groups, simply go back to the preset setting and click this down arrow to change it to up. Now let's see how to use macro to batch color grading in Lightroom.